Hello guys, this is Abraham Mubin and in this video I'm gonna demonstrate a simple calculator in C Sharp using Visual Studio. So let's get started. I'll make a new project. Windows form application calculator. It would be a simple calculator with basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. I resize the form. Just for the layout, just drag and drop some buttons. Resize them. Change the text. And now, copy and paste. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, zero, zero would be larger. Okay. Have to take it up. Divide, multiply. Subtraction, addition, and here would be a decimal point button. Two buttons more for clear the screen and equal to sign. Now I would change the text of each button. Should be a bit far. All right, now I'll change the text to three, four, five. Oops. Six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. This would be the decimal point, and I'll increase the size so that it can be readable. Change it to 10. Uh, now plus. Minus. Multiply. And divide. I'll increase the size. Because it's not readable for me. This button is to clear, and this is equal to. Okay, this was the basic layout of a simple calculator, and now we will move to the coding part. Okay, one thing remaining, which is screen of the calculator. I would just drag and drop a text box and change its property to multi line. Alright. Here. Now, when the user clicks on button 1, what should happen? The number 1 should be displayed on this screen here. I would change the name, text, screen. Alright. 
the number should be displayed here so let's go to its coding before that I'm gonna increase the size of text okay when the user clicks on button 1 it should show the number 1 on screen I will change the text of the screen to 1 same for button 2 same for button 3 same for button 4 same for button 5 6 7 8 9 zero. Let's run the program and check. Uh, okay, let's hit 5. Is it showing or not? It's showing. Perfect. Now let's hit uh, 885. Oops, it's not working. It is replacing the previous number. So, what should we do? We should concatenate the text of the screen with the new one, like this. We need to concatenate whatever is on the text screen, it should concatenate it with the new one, with the new text. So we will just copy and paste. Clear coding text screen dot text equal to zero. Okay, let's run the program and see is it concatenating or not. Let's enter 987. 987. Perfect. It is concatenating. And it is clearing. Now we will move to the decimal point button. One thing that we all know, a number cannot have more than one decimal point. So we have to put a condition over here. If text screen dot text contains it has a function which can check for a particular character. We have to check for false stop. What it works, what it does, it checks whether the text screen text box contains a false stop or not. If it is not containing then copy and paste this line wait for this stop. Else show a message box which says decimal point is already there. Alright, so this was the work of decimal point button. Let's check it's working. 98 point something is wrong here oops yeah I have given a false condition so I need to 98.5 point again then it shows a message that that decimal point is already there okay this work is also done now the main part is plus minus addition uh, and uh, multiplication division button functions we'll go to the add button for this we need to have a variable why because uh, we need to store the first number, the first input we have given in a variable 
perform whatever operation user wants. For example, if I have put, if I have entered 12 and then I am pressing the button plus and then entering my next input. So my previous input should be there in some variable so that I can perform operations. So I would declare a global variable decimal form and that would be input 1. I will store the value input 1 equal to convert we need to convert it to decimal because that's in the string form due to the text box text is screen dot text we have selected it now we need to clear the screen plus how the calculator will analyze that user wanna add or subtract or multiply or divide calculator will analyze by having that sign in some variable we will again declare a variable in a string form that would be arithmetic operator we will save that arithmetic operator in a variable so that we may under understand that user want to add something in the addition button we will put plus in subtraction button we will put minus and all of this stuff will be same this is just to identify that user want to perform this operation all right i hope you guys understand this would be multiply this would be divide Alright, now move on to the next part which is the last button's work equal to in equal to we need to check whether the user has pressed plus, minus, addition uh, and uh, multiplication or division. So we need to put if and else statements. If arithmetic operator equal to equal to plus this is for addition else if else if else if four conditions for four operators Okay, now we will declare a new variable in which we will store the result. Result first value plus and it should be decimal. Now copy and paste the line for the rest of the operations. Change the signature. Alright, and finally, We need to put the result on the screen. So result and we'll convert it to string because that's a text box. Now let's check ninety-eight plus twenty-three equal to one twenty-one. Twenty 5.5 5 minus 3.2 go to this 65 65 multiplied by 9 this 
0.2 divided by 98. All answers are correct. We need to set a condition on one thing that when the user divides it should need uh, it should need to check one condition which is the number cannot be divided by zero so we'll again put a condition here if it's not equal to zero then do this operation else show the user that you are doing something wrong Let's check it. Fifty six divided by zero. All right. So this was the tutorial for simple calculator. If you guys liked it then do give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for watching